have to bundle up as tight as you have the door this morning. We're about 20 plus degrees warmer right now than we were this time yesterday. But with that warmth also comes a lot of fuel for some storms as a cold front starts pushing through later tonight. So what we have over the next couple hours is a very warm forecast, even for December 1st. Mostly cloudy in the mid 70s this afternoon for highs. Now we have that moisture added to the forecast as well, kind of fueling some of those storms. Here's that cold front that will make a difference later in the weekend. But today we've got that moisture pushing in right around 6 p.m. tonight. The first very isolated showers could make it inland Franklin County, Taylor County. It's later in the evening, Friday night, uh, that we do have more of that widespread chance of rain kind of then pushing closer to Valdosta, that 75 corridor when most of us are in bed at that point. And then a line of storms becomes very strong just to our west. This is where the strongest uh, probability of severe weather happens on Saturday morning. So actually the rest of us across the Big Bend and some of South Georgia get a break from the rain. This is not going to happen a lot this weekend. It's a widespread storm weekend. But as that line starts to get a little closer to the Big Bend and the Tri-State area, it looks to weaken a little bit. So I'd keep an eye on that 8 a.m., 9 a.m. forecast. It'll definitely be raining outside. Uh, but that storm looks to weaken for the early morning hours. It's later on Saturday night. We're going to find that a stronger cell uh, block of storms kind of starts to move through. And that right around 9, 10, 11 o'clock is going to be where we find enough energy to promote some stronger storm activity for us across the Big Bend. There's that cold front. It's going to be driving through later on Sunday, bringing us drier and cooler air, but pushing out those storms. We do have a marginal risk for some of our area on Saturday for that Saturday evening storm system that looks to move in. You know, strong wind, heavy rain, maybe even isolated tornado, especially to our west. Absolutely possible over the next couple of days.